like Lewis's chat, you need to play this game. It's great. Okay, but like, why, uh, why do you play it on low graphics? Does it just run better? It runs. Well, look, I got 36 FPS down there. <laughs> Have fun with that. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Oh, come play. Come play. I'm not come playing. Play. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I don't know how he plays it like that. I don't know how people play games at 4x3 all day. Like, that shit would make me just want to die. Like, it's just like like 4x3. Yo, Sai. Yo. I just want to say I've been watching you from like 2012 since I was like 12 years old. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Uh, you've been watching me for about five minutes in a bush as well, haven't you, mate? Yeah, no, I've been sitting here waiting for you to get back, just so I can say hi. I've, I've never tried this before, but you said you're on Xbox, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Xbox, turn off. Is that good, guys? <laughs> Yo, what's up, boys, and welcome back to another Armor Reforger video. It's actually been five months since I last made an Armor Reforger video. The game Armor Reforger has been out for a year and a half now, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering all of the new updates on Reforger, which there's a lot. A lot of them are really, really cool. As well as that, we're going to be looking at how the modding scene is looking for Reforger and answering the question which people still ask about Armor 4. When is Armor 4 going to be coming out? Since Reforge has been out for such a decent period of time now, like I said, a year and a half, we can, I guess at this point, maybe start looking and wondering when the next major Armor tile is going to be released. If you guys want to try out any of the mods from today's video, including the M270, you can see in the background right now, as well as the A10 Thunderbolt jet, which I showed a second ago, those are both mods. You can find those in the description below. And if you've got any questions about anything shown today as well, then feel free to leave it in the comment section below. But I thought we'd start off today, after the beautiful explosion, with the unmodded content. A lot of people aren't too keen to switch from Armor 3 to Reforger, and one of the big reasons for that is in many ways, Armor Reforger is kind of like a watered down version of Armor 3. We're going to start off with something which makes Reforger, at least in this aspect, better than Armor 3, which is definitely what we need to move people over. I'm sorry in advance if I do miss anything from this new update. I'm just going to be highlighting the biggest stuff because there's just so much stuff. This is by far the, the biggest update since the actual ground support update that added uh, this map right here we're on right now, Arland. So it is a very, very big update. So uh, let, let's get into it and talk about, like I said, the thing that makes this slightly better than Armor 3. So if we go ahead and go down to our machine gun right here, you'll see the new medical system is, is just fantastic. And this is, again, it's unmodded. It's going to be on every Reforger server. It's going to be on every Armor 4 server, more than likely. And it's pretty cool. So you'll see if we shoot someone in the leg right here multiple times, eventually he'll go unconscious. So we can see the sign of his unconsciousness right there. We can check his injuries. And you'll then see it's his minor injury, moderate bleeding. So we press six and pull out a bandage. You can then see we can bandage his right leg, which is where we shot him. We can't bandage him in his arm. We can only bandage him where he was actually impacted. Let's go ahead and put him inside our ambulance really quickly. And I can show you guys that as well. So we do kind of just teleport inside. But if you are going to get inside it or get out of it, you will actually have an actual animation. But when we're in here, we can go ahead and bandage the patient. We can go ahead and get one of the new items, such as the tourniquets the morphine injectors or the saline solutions, as well as the medical kit. I've never actually seen that before. I don't know what that is. But let's say we get the saline solution and the um, the morphine. Uh, and we've also got an entrenching tool. Oh, okay, that's new as well. Uh, we can go and get this out and we can inject him with morphine to make him feel a bit better. As well as that, we can go ahead and get our saline bag. Where's our saline bag? And we can go ahead and give him this as well. I don't know if this is the, the thing that you should really do in a medical setting. I'm not an expert, but... The reason I wanted to do that is because now if we go ahead and change to this guy right here, our helicopter crew guy, we can go ahead and hop out because we now are conscious. And you'll see we actually have a sailing bag on our arm, which is really, really cool. So let me go ahead and shoot my other friend over here in the head. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Uh, we'll shoot him in the, the arm a few times. And you'll go unconscious. And I want to show you guys what being unconscious actually looks like. I will show you some gameplay of it in a second. But you'll see when you're on the ground, you can hear people. You can see people. You can turn your head. You just can't obviously talk while unconscious. That would be a bit stupid. But I like this a lot. It's, um, you know, No Flames of Daisy. Daisy is obviously a zombie survival game. But it's just a bit boring when you're on the floor and you just can't do anything. At least here, you can kind of, you know, see what's going on. Oh, I thought you saw still alive there. You can see what's going on around you still and work out what you want to do once you wake back up. It's not exactly the most realistic thing ever, but I'd much prefer that than, you know, just a black screen, right? That'd be boring. Uh, also, uh, once you shoot people unconscious now, you'll see ragdolls as a whole in this game are so much better. They're so much better than they were on the launch. If we knock this guy unconscious right here, uh, we can actually go ahead and shoot his body with a machine gun.
I'm not sure why I told you guys that, but it, it might come in handy one day. If not, you can do any of tactical cop outs and uh, stop the He's dead, he's dead, but you are as well, Rip. <laughs> this guy's dead. I don't know why I'm even talking. <laughs> are you okay, Kai, mate? You're just incapacitated, right? You okay, mate? No, he's dead. He's dead as fuck. Yeah, also pro tip, but you can actually... I thought I heard someone! I thought I heard someone there! Do you guys... He's gonna fucking finish me off. I thought I heard someone creeping there. If he loots our bodies, I could kill him. Come on, come on. Can't wake up. Wake me. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Kai? Welcome back. Oh, that's not you? He's not dead. He's not dead. He's alive. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh, this, gun, this game's funny. This game's funny. That's a small example of how the unconscious system could work in combat. So we've got the blue four ambulance right here. We've got the op four one. Both of them come with the same medical items in the back. That's the extent of the medical system. Obviously, with R3, a lot of people just use like mods to allow themselves to have a more realistic or more deep medical system than armor freeze baseline one but now you know no mods nothing like that we'll likely be seeing a system very similar to this in armor 4 and it works pretty good i like it a lot it gives people a second uh, a second chance at life and it gives the rule of medics something to do which is good because medics exist in, in war settings and other settings as well if you're curious as well, much like in Daisy, if you do nothing to someone when they're down, they will eventually get back up naturally. But when you do get back up, obviously you will need to ban yourself and you will have some things which will uh, negate your character's stats. So you can see right here, because I was hitting the arm, I'll have impaired accuracy. And on my leg right here, you'll see I will have impaired movement. So even once I do have this thing bandaged, it's going to be a while until I do eventually have the ability to run at full speed. You'll see right here when we're running, we're kind of slow. Whereas on this guy over here, he is Sonic the Hedgehog. And he also, apparently, is really, really good at aiming. Apparently. No, Richard! As well as that, you don't really see it too much here, but they did add uh, wildlife. There's butterflies, there are birds, and there are bees as well. So if you go run into this forest right here, and I think if we shoot once, we should be able to see some birds somewhere here. There we are, right there. So there's the birds. As a whole, this game's just very, very immersive, especially when you make it like nighttime and you've got lights and all that shebang. It's very, very immersive. Let's go and make it nighttime and also go ahead and turn on the rain as well. With the new update, they have made nighttime gameplay a lot more playable. If you guys played Reforger when it came out or even a few months ago with nighttime, it was just horrible. It was horrible. Now it's it's quite bright nighttime. It depends on, I think, what the current lunar cycle is. You can see we've got a full moon tonight, so that's helping the uh the darkness right now it's not really dark at all especially considering it is literally uh what was it 1 a.m or something that's a compass uh watch it is yeah 1 1 so it's pretty late but we can actually we can actually play at nighttime now which is fantastic now a new update is they have added the system of uh, resting your weapon much like an armor free so if you press ctrl c on pc i have no idea what it is in console i'm sorry looking at controls you can put your bipod down and put it up but you can actually mount your weapon whether it does or doesn't have a bipod. So we can mount it right here with our bipod out. You can see us going up and down with it. It looks kind of janky, but also kind of good. I'm not really sure if this is like better or worse than armor free. And also if we go ahead and shoot with it. No recoil. We're going to take us back up. Lots of recoil. I'm not, I'm not controlling my recoil at all here. Let's go ahead and mount him again. I, I was not dragging down there at all. Um... You can't mount uh, pistols, but you can if you do have a bipod, go prone and go ahead and mount it on the floor. And you'll see when we do mount it on the floor like this, our character does have a two-hand hold on it, which is very cool. Although if you press it again, it kind of ruins your immersion, but just just don't do that because otherwise you're going to start sliding backwards. This is on experimental, so uh, some things here are subject to change. But overall, this should give you an idea of, you know, the progress we're looking at for Reforger. It's, it's progressing. It is progressing. You see, we can't rest this right here. If you go ahead and spawn in ourselves a lovely AK guy, a little 545 gun, we can go ahead and rest it here, no problem. As well as that, you can rest it on dynamic objects such as um, vehicles, so you don't have to worry about things not working. For the most part, this system, for me, where's the machine gun guy just gone? Did he go into the vehicle? Wait, he's in the, he's in the vehicle. Why? Are you okay, mate? What's wrong? 
for the most part, you should be able to mount wherever you want in the world. Again, this is without any recall pulling. No recall. A decent amount of recall. It's not too bad on the AK. It's not as uh, chunky of the uh, calibers for PKM. You will see if you get inside the vehicles as well. It's going to be the same for helicopters. I'll show, you, I'll, I'll show you guys those in a second. Those are definitely the biggest thing in the update. You can um, turn lights on and off as you see fit. Oh, you've actually got... Oh, no, it's just one light. I thought it was four different separate lights here. But yeah, you can you can do that with the helicopters. You can do that with the new ambulances if uh, that's what you're into, if you're into lights. I like lights a lot. I think uh, lighting... I mean, I'm sure you guys can agree on this one. It's just how it is. But lights can, can really make or break uh, the way a game looks. So if a game has good lighting, such as this video game having pretty good lighting, it can definitely allow you to immerse yourself in the setting a lot better. We'll see if we go and sit in front of the lights right here, or even you will see we've actually got a double shadow. Because uh, if you guys ever looked at a car before, we've actually got two headlights. Which means you have two shadows. Because that's how science works. Oh, yeah, also, I forgot to mention, we did add a fuel system. So if you go to the fuel... You need to put some fuel in it. So you bring it to the gas station. You can go ahead and fuel him up. Uh, there are some new civilian vehicles over here. But quite frankly, no one cares. They're literally reskinned old vehicles. Let's just go ahead and press GG on them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. And it will blow up the helicopters. Just because why not? Those are probably my favorite things to blow up. You can see even when, when, when it's raining in this game, you can see the, the, the wetness look right here. They have also added in... Um, what is that? I'm not sure why that's like that. Is that because it's missing or... Oh, I think it's because it's taking up a slot. So they added armored rigs into the game. So you can see right here we have the 6B3 from EFT. Just kidding, it's from real life. And um, this thing will actually give us some ballistic protection as well as our helmet as well will actually give us some ballistic protection. So if you put down a... Helicopter pilot, he will have a little uh, Makarov, and you can go ahead and shoot him in the head. Oh, well, well, he's alive, okay? He's, he's alive. Whereas, if you see right here, if we go ahead and get this medic right here, and take his helmet off, okay? And then shoot this guy in the head with a Makarov, well, then he's going to be dead. Oh, he is. I was right. Good job, uh, Bohemia. I mean, that's the, that's the entire medical system. That's it. All right, it's time to talk about the Chunky Monkey in this update, which is, of course, the two new helicopters, the Blue 4 helicopter, which you can see on your screen right now. The level of detail they've added to these helicopters, I'm not an, a helicopter expert by any means, but the the blades, like, rotating, you can see when you're pressing Q and E and stuff, and actually seeing the skids move up and down when the helicopter is taking off and landing. I've never seen that in any game, especially not a multiplayer game like this. So this is the UH-1H, a.k.a. the Huey. It was an armor 2 as well. There is just for transport one in right now. There's a chance it might add an armed one in the future, but I'm going to go with probably not on that one. But regardless, the level of detail on this one, it's incredible. It's still an experimental. It's not on the main branch yet, but when it is on the main branch, it is definitely going to enhance a lot of existing experiences on Reforger to just make them feel that much better, not being confined to the floor or using what is, quite frankly, modded janky helicopters. There was some decent level quality modded helicopters throughout the past year or so they've existed, but ultimately Bohemia are probably going to do a better job to incorporate in a, you know, a full setting with actual destruction, the blades actually destroying when they impact things, etc. And then, of course, we also have the Russian helicopter, the Mi-8MT, which I believe was a similar helicopter to this in Armour 2 as well. You can see all these helicopters, of course, have the proper animations. You can't, like, open and close the door uh, flying around and shoot out of it or anything like that, which is something you could do in some vehicles in Armour 3. You can't shoot out of any vehicles in Reforger. This one has a lot more seats than the Huey, and it also feels a lot heavier than the Huey because, I mean, look at it. It is. It's a chunky boy. If you're used to flying in Armour 2 and Armour 3, then I think you're going to feel right at home with Reforger. There is still a auto hover feature. If you do want to turn it on, it works in a similar-ish way to how it worked in old games. The helicopters all just feel... I've never flew one IRL, obviously. But they feel weighty. They feel nice. They, they feel real. They feel like we're there. Which is great. You know, Reforger, as I said earlier, one of the things that I love about it is the immersion. And you definitely are still getting that full immersion with this helicopter. Whether you're on the floor looking at flying over. Or if you're trying it out yourself. Or if you're a passenger or whatever else. I will try out some helicopter gameplay on multiplayer when I can. Maybe when it comes to the main branch over on Twitch, if you're not already, make sure to follow me over there. Armory Forger still has some progress to make for sure. 
But I can't be the only one who was just blown away by certain things that you can experience in Reforger. Again, using the word immersion, I just didn't feel that in R3 ever. But in this, the, the lighting, the sounds, it's, it's just incredible. The last thing that isn't that new, but you guys might not have seen it already. There are now Op4 and Blue 4 landmines, which you can place down. Uh, too bad for them, but look, uh, look ahead. Hmm, a landmine. Yeah, so just be a bit careful. Oh. He's got to be trolling. He's got to be trolling. Anyway, it's time to talk about mods. Why are these mods important? Well, they're important because if you, even if you don't care about Reforger and you're just like, oh, I'm a four, which we'll be tackling a bit later on still. Uh, all of this, the mod technology and the mods that exist will carry on over to Arma 4. You know, you made, you made a map in R3 ages ago. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It needs to be made for R Reforge or Arma 4. Otherwise, you're going to have to put in a lot of work. This stuff, the work you put in, and it exists. You can probably see what this first mod is already. The first map was D-Dust 1 from CS, and this map right here is Office from CS. I'm going to do a seamless transition from Arma Reforge to Counter-Strike 2. You guys didn't even notice the transition, did you? It looks almost identical. Incredible. And the AI works on it. The reason this is a big deal is because if porting is something that is easy to do, which I'm not sure if this was made with any kind of porting or if it was just made by hand, but if porting is possible, which I've seen a few things to indicate that there is some kind of porting possible, that's uh, going to make modding a lot easier for people. Yeah, the AI in this game are about the same in IQ level as, as CS2 bots. For, they both need a bit of work. And another reason why that's exciting is Reforger hasn't been out for that long, but that's not something you would ever see in Armor 3. The same theme applies over here as well. Reforger hasn't been out too long, but you already have an M270 MLRS. It doesn't function perfectly, but it does animate the back correctly. You can open and close the windows. Let me know in the comments if anyone's ever shot an M270 IRL before. Let me know if this is realistic, if you have shot one IRL before, which you probably haven't. Uh, I, I don't think it is realistic, but it looks and sounds cool. I, I know obviously this vehicle is not supposed to be used to shoot targets that are like 50, 60, 70 meters away. But it's just a lot easier to hit them when they're 60, 70 meters away than literally trying to triangulate this thing across the map. I don't know if it's really capable of doing that right now. It makes me slightly excited for Arma 4, the possibilities of it, that this game, which really isn't anywhere near as mainstream as Arma 3, uh, modders are capable of creating something like this in, in a short span of time with, with limited documentation. That's, that's a good sign to me. Next up, we have a, another modded vehicle, the Hunter from Arma 3. It's not actually the Hunter. If anyone knows the name of it and you want to correct me, feel free to, but you guys don't care. It's a cool armored vehicle as a point. It's bulletproof. Um, and you can see that guy right there had an alternate helmet on as well. This is a Daisy server called Pl 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 Plixable. And uh, they've, they've gone ahead and actually modded the original Everon map, which is something you could not do in Armor Free either, at least not to my knowledge. Like actually adding something to Altus, adding actual landmass. So they've uh, gone ahead and added a bunch of custom vehicles. As well as that, they have extended the map and added this, this bridge, which you can see in the background. I got some PvP on. Night vision goggles are also in mods right now as well. The modding community is progressing just as the core game is, which is slow and steady, but it is progress. Here's some more vehicles from Plixable, Playable. I'm not sure what the server is called, to be honest. So I'm just going to keep on saying I don't know because I don't know. This reminds me a lot of the Origins mod for Armor 2, where you could actually attach things to your vehicle, which would change the way you would perform and the way you would look. So very cool for a zombie style mod, which is, of course, exactly what Plixable, Playable, whatever it's called, is trying to be. And it is right now. It's a Premier Daisy mod for Reforger right now. So if you just want to hop on Reforger, hop on this, you know, you know how mods work with Reforger. You don't need to worry about what you're downloading and extracting it. You just join the server and it just works. And you can play with some modded content right now. Not too bad. But anyway, you guys aren't here for the little modded vehicles. You're here for the chunky monkey jet. The, the game doesn't have jets. Bohemia are never planning on adding jets into the game. So what does a modded jet look like in Reforger, you may wonder? I mean, animations are good, though. It's good to see that it's actually animated properly. That's good. Um, How do we go forward? C will toggle landing gear. C. I mean, it's animated. I mean, obviously this isn't perfect, but I mean, the fact that it's just animated like that, that's that's impressive. I like that. Oh, are we moving? Mm, maybe not. I was going to ask how do I shoot? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. <laughs> so this jet, you can actually go ahead and load and unload bombs, and this will impact how heavy the vehicle is. So when I fully loaded it, it actually just wouldn't take off unfortunately it does have a gunner as well and you can drop these bombs mid-flight 
And it flies okay. It doesn't. It definitely doesn't feel like a Bohemia jet. But considering there's no jets in the game, it doesn't just feel like a UAZ that's flying. You know, which it definitely could have. This was my best attempt uh, at flying right here, and it, it really doesn't last too long. Uh, you, you can see at least all, all the animations of uh, bringing your gear up and down, actually being able to manipulate your flaps, and you know, being able to use air brakes and all that kind of stuff. Ignore the the thing in the bottom left. I don't know what that thing's doing. I think uh, we might be going a bit too fast. I think we might be going fast 720 kilometers now. I think that might be what's what's bugging out right there. I did drop a bomb right there, though, so I was trying to look at it landing on the beach, but I was so distracted I crashed into a tree. And because it's a mod, not a Bohemia vehicle, it doesn't have a cool explosion. We talked about that word earlier, the immersion word. If you see someone fly into a tree in a jet on a multiplayer server, your immersion will be ruined. I gone ahead and dropped every other bomb for some reason. We didn't make an explosion. Or maybe we didn't make an explosion sound. This jet is just so loud, you can't hear anything else. I would turn it up and like show you guys how loud it is without me turning it down. But you guys should be mad at me because of how loud it is. So uh, if you want to try it out for yourself on multiplayer or single player, you can go for it. Like I said, link in the description to that one as well. The last mod I want to show you guys because there's just too many mods. There's not enough time to show you them all. Like there's other helicopters and jets and all kinds of stuff, but we just don't have time to show you show it all. So I'm trying to show you guys like something interesting from a few different categories. This is a uh, placeable building essentially, and there's something actually pretty cool about it as well. Other than that, it's a placeable building, which isn't really something we've seen too many of in Reforger mods as a whole. So we can go ahead and place down the targets, like boom, and then place down a, a hostage one right here, boom. Okay, you can see all the different parts we can place down here. I just don't want to hand construct one. It's too much effort, but well, I guess I could really quickly here. So you put the stairs up right here, like boom. Okay, and then you get the the observation and then you like boom. And uh, and that's that's all I'm going to show you guys. That's not all I'm going to show you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and place down a character now because uh, we've got to actually show the mod. So what's cool about this mod is, um, although you, could, you can only see it on a few windows here. Yeah, let me go ahead and actually place uh, board these ones up because... Normally, there's a lot more of these uh, boarded up windows. These ones right here, it's just this uh, prefab doesn't look like it has it. But if you can place it down like here, like here, like boom, and like boom. Uh, which one was the one that I had earlier, which actually did have the, the windows? I think it was this one, the small one. You can see this one's got windows. But these are all destructible. So go ahead and shoot it. You'll see it will break, which might not seem like that big of a deal. And technically, I do remember a building in Armour 2 being similar to this, like a large square gray building i think it was actually a kill house building as well where you could blow open the walls but this game has physics so now when you shoot things they they physically simulate it. so we, you could you could definitely do some pretty cool stuff with this uh that's that's the entire mod though that's 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 the entire mod sorry guys i know it wasn't really that exciting but but buildings there are many buildings in reforger but people are making them let's go Sorry, that wasn't actually the last mod, but this will be actually the last mod this time. This is two mods, actually. So we've got the Blunderbuss mod from Bacon8008. This looks like a funny meme weapon. I think it's going to have some interesting outcomes. As well as that, I'm also trying out this uh, skeleton mod, which actually replaces all of the characters in the game with skeletons for Halloween. Because this should be uploaded relatively close to Halloween. Happy Halloween, guys. Uh, I'm dressing up as a skeleton. Uh, let me know what you guys are dressed up as. Just kidding. Don't let me know, please. Uh, oh, my... Okay, yeah, that, that was interesting. I didn't think it would go backwards right there, but yeah, that was interesting for sure. Let's even get them to go off the cliff this time. Oh, no, this is a very interesting weapon you got here, Bacon, but I'm not really sure exactly how it works, you know? You can see when we reload, we do actually have a cannonball we put into our weapon, but they're not really flying the way I wanted, or they are flying the way I wanted them to, but not literally the way, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm looking for them to fly off the cliff here in an ideal world. Uh, oh. Very cool mod though. Oh, Charlie King was actually alive for a second until he flew away. Very cool mod, and it does um it, it does excite me for you know the monetization of future Armor 4 and Reforger servers because now it means we could potentially buy like fairy outfits to dress up with on these servers for money. Maybe just an idea, just an idea. Uh maybe I shouldn't give you guys actually ideas. I'll stop talking now. Pretty good mod though, I like it. Uh happy Halloween, guys. Sorry, I know this video's getting too long now. I've got a serious issue with making videos too long. Why can't I just make short videos? Like, why? What's wrong with me? But um, you guys are all curious as well, right? What happens if we get, like, Blunderbuss group versus Blunderbuss group, right? Like, what could potentially happen now? Let's have a look. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, it's it's kind of going the way I expected. Who's going to win, though? Blue 4 on the left or Independent on the right? I'm going to go with Blue 4. Because Blue 4 have got, like, more military expertise and stuff, right? You guys do have legs. If you want to move, you guys can move. 
Okay, independent are getting a few kills. Maybe we could see a clutch here, guys. We could see a clutch. Sorry if I'm shouting. It's uh, it's really loud. I'll turn it down on post. So don't don't you worry. Oh, two v two v five. Can they can they get the clutch, guys? Doesn't look like it. One man left. Is he gonna fly backwards or forwards? I'm gonna go with forwards. Oh, okay. Is he gonna get a double kill here? Maybe if they get close enough. Oh, close, close, close. Oh, GG. He went. You went sideways. We were both wrong, guys. You didn't go left or right. Uh, yeah, cool mod. I like it. Reforge is coming along okay. I'm still not sure what to expect with this Armor 4 title, but the question is, when is Armor 4 coming out? I think a lot of people were asking that in Reforge's early stages, and at that point, it was a bit unfair to really ignore Reforger and look to the future of Armor 4. But Reforger's been out for a year and a half now. They've just updated their roadmaps, which I'll show on the screen right now. This is the first roadmap, which is fully complete. The second roadmap, which is about half complete. We've still got a lot of exciting things to come to this game, such as suppressors, some new scopes, some BTRs in the third roadmap, uh, electricity systems, better AI, a, a decent amount of stuff. So this is my thought process. You can see Armor Reforger came out one year and five months ago in May of 2022. The first major update, which added in the new map, along with most of the stuff from the first uh, roadmap, which I showed you a second ago, was released in December of 2022 and then the 1.0 Reforger experimental update was released two weeks ago just over two weeks ago now on October of 2023. So this one took about five months six months to come out and this one took about and obviously there has been smaller updates and some some medium-sized updates through throughout this period as well but this one took about five six months this one took about ten nine months something like that until it was eventually released. So if we take a medium point of that one right there we say we're about halfway through the current roadmap we, we can expect to see probably about another year and a bit of development, which is going to bring us into 2025. That's when Armor 4 is going to be coming out, guys, okay? That's my that's my methodology. It's going to be coming out in 2025, I think. Uh, Reforger, like I said, still needs some work, but there's not that much stuff left in the roadmap. I think they've mentioned it before, but it's not like we're going to add in jets. They, they aren't going to, or, or tanks even, into the, into the default game. They're not planning on adding in tanks. They're kind of, you know, sprucing up for the core game. And then they're going to be moving on to Armor 4 Early Access or whatever. And we'll see what, what theme even that is with obviously Reforger being in Cold War. Maybe it's in modern day. Maybe it's in the future a bit like Armor 3. I'm hoping just for a modern day game. That would be very, very sick. But I, I, I think it's still a while out from here. I think a lot of people, like I said, people are asking about Armor 4 for even the past year and a half. And... You really need to see where Reforge is at and you need to see how, how much more work does it need until it's done. And then you can start asking about Armor 4. Until then, you kind of need to see you, you need to see Reforger through. You need to see how the progression of it is going. And uh, you need to see until they've, they've done developing that game, really. So I think 2025, based on um, that maths, that it checks out. I wouldn't expect it in 2024, but we'll see. I would say if you actually look at Bohemia's full catalogue of games, you take away the games you've published, not developed, and then you take away all of the non-major games. Well, when you had in the past decade, Armor Free and DayZ, and DayZ didn't even come out in 2018. It came out in 2012. 2018 is just when the 1.0 update just came out. Armor 4 and all future games will be on this new Infusion engine, which needs a bit more work, but surely it's got to be just around the corner, right? As always, I'd love to hear what you guys got to say in the comment section below. Armor 3 had a lot of catalysts when it came out. Armor 4 doesn't. By that, I mean Daisy Roleplay Battle Royale. So we'll see what happens. Bye, guys.